Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com coming at you with 2019 Bowman's Best Baseball. Brand new release today, everyone loves it. Eight box, pick your team number five from jazbeescasebreaks.com. We did a team random, that's in a separate video. So if you see one of those little rooftops next to your name, that means you got that in a team random. Michael with the Giants, last spot mojo star next to his name. And there's everybody else. Thank you everyone for getting in, really appreciate it. This stuff has been pretty, pretty good, if I do say so myself. So however you got into this action, whether via Team Random or whether you bought the spot straight up, we appreciate it. If you are near our shop in Hermosa Beach, California, there's a silver pack promotion happening. We'll let you know. You can come by the shop, you can see what that's all about. It's related to Series 1. Coming out in February, I think. Alright, there's two boxes here. You can see that on the top camera. Four, six, and eight. Good luck, everybody. I've been told that all cards ship. And there'll be an autograph recap at the end. If you're re-watching this, if you're watching the replay of this. Some good news for everybody. Almost lost a pack in the last break. Can you believe that? If it wasn't for a couple people watching, pointing it out, could have been gone forever. In there too. But we found it. All's well that ends well. Box number one, pick your team five. Good luck. We'll have more pick your teams in the store. I think six is already up there, but we'll have more. So keep an eye out for that on jazbeescasebreaks.com. Right, it was, it was a Kevin Malone autograph. No, it was a Brennan Malone. I don't know if he had any relation to Kevin Malone. I haven't thought about Kevin Malone in a long time. Blocked him from my memory. Old GM for the Dodgers. Or is that Kevin Towers? No, Kevin Towers GM for the Padres. I'm mixing up my Kevins. My GM Kevins. All right. There's Davey Garcia to lead us off. There's die cuts in this this year, which look pretty cool. Set those aside. And our first autograph is for the Rockies, Michael Toglia. That'll be for Yervin, who got the Rockies in a team random. There you go, Yervin. I'll save some of these rookies here too. There's Ryland Bannon die cut. Keston Hira. More Keston. And the next autograph is Nick Lodolo. Nice. Cincinnati Reds. Randy Ramos got randomized. The Reds. A lot of R's there. Good alliteration. There's Alec Baum. Kevin Biggio and Rowdy Rowdy Tellez. That goes to Sean and the Blue Jays. I randomized the Blue Jays in the team room. We got the box again too, believe it or not. Josh Young to 250. Showtime, Aaron Judge, Casey Mize. Beyond Austin Riley is Keston Hira. That is for Sean and the Brewers. You got randomized the Brewers? 75 out of 9. And you were looking for this guy. Man, it's all roses for Sean today. 
There's Castanera. Green autograph. There it is. It's a good one. All right. Next one. Brian Peoples is gonna try the Sean strategy. He's gonna be like, "Can I get a some color on a Tatis autograph?" He's gonna to try to speak it into existence. Just fair warning, though, ladies and gentlemen, I don't expect those rookie autos to pop too often in these Bowman's best. Remember, it's Bowman's best, so it's gonna be prospect heavy. There may be one. Two rookie autos in there at the most. That's a good question. If these rookies had prospect autos in Bowen's best before, which do you think would have higher value? Probably probably the first one out of Bowen's best, I guess. Their first Bowman's best autograph would be my guess. I, I've on, that's a good question. I've honestly not really looked that up. Yeah, like I said, Brian, I wouldn't. Yeah, zero to T's to zero juniors, Vlad juniors to four cases. Yeah, I would not expect those guys to pop too often. Bowman's best, definitely with the Bowman brand prospect heavy on it. They're not supposed to pop too often. If they do, awesome. But they, yeah, they're 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 short. Yeah, EA saying or Tim saying they're they're short printed because this is focusing on the 2019 draft class. So, hey, do I want it to happen? Yes, I would love it to happen. I just want to temper people's expectations. Right, there will be three million pirates though. We said before, a short checklist. This happens with Bowen's best every year. Short checklist, that's to ten. Short checklist, ton of autos in the product. We're gonna see a lot of repeats. But you don't want there to be a bunch of CJ Abramses, then the CJ Abramses won't have value. You don't want them to have a zillion of the top prospects and rookies. Then you'll get them, but they're like, oh, but now there's a million of them. Victor Mesa Jr. It's a it's a careful balance. What's that? I don't know what that is. A little bit of glue. Something on there, but I'm sure you can get that cleaned off there. Marlins, Tim S. Victor Mesa Jr. Bregman to 250. There's Andrew Neisner. Looking for that guy. Alec Manoa. And we got Future Foundations die cut. Andrew Neisner. Atomic die cut. And Carter Keeboom. 23 out of 25. Rookie Auto, Atomic, Michael Wheeler, the second with the champs, the World Series champs and nationals. Walker Bueller, Atomic, Vlad Guerrero Jr., rookie card, Senzel, rookie card. And behind Trout is going to be Josh James. There you go for the Astros. Sean with the Strohs. Maybe this case is the one loaded with all the rookies. I 
All right, next box. Oh, is that you, Mike? You're, you're Michael Wheeler? Nice. There you go. Congrats. Clappy, what's going on? How, what about Lindor to the Dodgers? What about it? Has that has those conversations gone beyond just internet speculation? I feel like no, right? I think it's one writer saying, yeah. We've heard things. But I don't know how much how much traction has that gained. Be interesting move. From what I've heard, just from writers and stuff like that, it sounds like the Dodgers are interested specifically in Lindor and and uh, Mike Clevenger. I think they never were really interested in in uh, in Kluber, who went elsewhere. Get where you want. But Clevenger and Lindor, but they do want Lux. They do want Gavin Lux and Dustin May. Yeah, I don't know if I want to part with that, but Dodgers are in a weird are, are in a weird window, Clappy. You should we should the Dodgers wait? Another three, four years for Gavin Lux and Dustin Maid to hopefully develop into the talent that will win World Series. Post, uh, post, uh, whatchamacallit, you know, post Kershaw's career, post all those other guys, Tatis Jr. So there's a weird window. I, I cannot say hi to Rachel, Sean, because if I say hi to Rachel... Then I gotta say hi to everybody's girlfriend who's watching the show, and then it just becomes just a, a lame shout out show. She can't say hi to Rachel. Sorry, Sean. Zach Thompson, Cardinals. You guys got everybody. Looking for Rushman's too. And we got Greg Jones. She just come visit the shop. I'll say you had to hide her in person. There's Greg Jones. No, I do not. I, I cannot hear you. Unfortunately, no. Fortunately, I cannot hear you. Can you imagine? That'd be wild. Tatis Jr. I had microphones squirreled away. Just be a lot of noise. We got Will Wilson for the Halos. Will Wilson for the Halos. Johnny Cannon. I don't know. Maybe future technology could uh, could support maybe v video. I suppose where we can all see each other, which which would be pretty cool. All right, behind Jared Kalanick is best of twenty nineteen. Michael Bush. I think Hunter Bishop and Michael Bush seem to be the, your redemption guys. Um, Ken McLeod with my Dodgers. I'll, I'll give I'll give the Indians Michael Bush for Francisco Lindor. I'll take that. I, don't know, I guess the ultimate question is. Is Francisco Lindor going to deliver a world championship with him on the team? Is he that kind of difference maker? The way the Dodgers constructed now, sure. They can sneeze and 
win 90 plus games. But the postseason has been the the bugaboo, as they call it, <laughs> has been the has been the, the the banana skin that the Dodgers seem to slip on. If you look at the last couple World Series, is, is, you can argue that maybe a stronger starting pitching rotation, a one-two punch would be would be the the one that makes a difference, right? Strasburg Scherzer plus a little splash of Corbin. That's what the that's what got the uh, Nationals through. All right, or a banana in the tailpipe. Or a potato in the tailpipe. The playoffs have been the sugar in the gas tank for, for the Dodgers. The diesel in your non-diesel engine. That's, that's what happens. So is, I mean, what's the Dodgers rotation right now? Walker Bueller and who's who's going to quickly develop into a number one, but Walker Bueller and Kenjin Rue's not there. Kershaw's not getting older. So, th I mean, I feel like they have to work on some starting pitching. I mean, I guess you throw Dustin May into the rotation, but is that like an instant rotational thing? Are you out? Yeah. All right, see you, Daddy. So what happens? What do you do? I don't know. I mean, there's been some rumors about that guy to the Dodgers. There's that guy. There's George Kirby for the Mariners. That'll be for Tyler Stump. Although the Dodger hitting wasn't very good in the postseason either. But maybe that's because they ran to the top pitching, I guess. I don't know. It's tricky. Eloy Jimenez, but then you got to think, do you wait for, you know, how long do you wait for Gavin Lux to develop? Dustin May, are they going to be the all-stars that lead you to a World Series? I don't know. There's Braden Shoemake. I mean, because then you can just keep waiting on prospects for, for the next 50 years, right? At some point, you have to shake it up make some big moves for now. Otherwise, you can forever be, you know, looking ahead. To the next prospect, to the next prospect, to the next prospect. Hunter Green, Reds, Randy Ramos. At what point do you pull the trigger? There's Genio Suarez to 29, to 99. 22 out of 99. I don't know where I got 29. Fiona Cunha Jr. is Braden Shoemake. Another one for EA, starting your Braden Shoemake PC. I'll talk four boxes left. And then uh, Origins, ladies and gentlemen. Matthew Sell, can the Dodgers just sell one star and add reliable role players? I think they have too many reliable role players. I think that's the problem. I mean, they got the reliable role players that can that are good enough to, like, let's say a star gets gets hurt or something like that, good enough to say, hey, we've got, we've got, we can bring a couple guys up for a couple weeks. They'll get hot, you know, hot minor league prospects, and they'll look good for a little bit. 
help us win some games. You kind of blink. Like I said, you kind of sneeze and the Dodgers can win 90 plus games. But that formula doesn't really that formula doesn't really work in the playoffs. So Dodgers again good at the long term season. It'll look great in the regular season, but they got to they got to start turning starting to do something to to specifically address the postseason. Everyone in LA seems like a star. I mean, they've been in the World Series a couple times. That helps, and a lot of national attention. Hey, I'm rooting for Miggy. I'm rooting for Miggy. I want him to get 3,000 hits. Now, he should be able to within a couple seasons, but I want him to be healthy and... Show people what he, I mean, because that, that dude, that dude in his prime. Great. Unstoppable. Probably shorted Mike Trout of a couple MVPs. That's how, that's how good Miggy was. Is Casey Mize could be the future for Matt Stubblefield's Tigers. There's Nico Horner die cut. Cubs trying to figure things out too. Right. What do the Cubs want to do with their with their team? Eloy Jimenez, atomic die cut, White Sox, and there's the Fernando Tatis Jr. for Brian Peoples and his Padres. There you go. See that was easy. Squeaky wheel and whatnot. No color on that, but. I like that uniform right there. It looks sharp. Yeah, I guess you just have to ask. <laughs> Congrats, man. There you go. Where does Hyunjin Ru end up to 99? And Jared Kalanick. That's for the M's. That's going to go to Tyler Stumpf. Definitely, definitely the fire emoji Sean gave you in the chat, that's for sure. Seth Beer die cut. It's probably more of that than anything. Nick Senzel, Atomic, and Bryson Stott. Stott in the name of love. Rick K with the Phillies. Victor Mesa Jr. die cut, Eloy, Tatis Jr., Power Producers, and Hunter Green. Hunter Green, Green. 89 out of 99 for the Red Legs. Randy Ramos got randomized the Reds. Oh, yeah? See if we can get a Vlad Jr. in this case, too? All right. I mean, I don't know. This case has been pretty solid. It's, it's delivering. So let, let's see. Let's keep it going. Three boxes to go. Twelve autographs to go. Matthew Subblefield is saying, my team died. His Tigers died when Scherzer didn't come back for the ninth. Ortiz dumped Torrey Hunter over the wall. That made Leland quit smoking. Yeah, Tim, there will be a lot of duplicate autos in this. That is a fact. If you look at the checklist, you can tell that it's pretty short. Short checklist and 32 autographs in an entire case. And we're going to see a lot of duplicates.
Good luck, everybody. When you get the Pirates, they don't... Well, we're 12 autographs away from the... We, we still have a lot of autos left. I wouldn't get worried just yet. There'll be, I'm sure there'll be a, there could be a box with three of the four autographs would be the same pirate. <laughs> it's possible. Good luck. There's Joey Bart. JD Martinez, 250. Got a nice future die cut. Alonzo will set a couple of those aside. There's Rushman. There's Chipper Jones. And he reveals a Nate Low for the Rays. How low can you go? Rick K with the Rays. 80 out of 150. Do you think Shohei can Big Bambino this season? He's scheduled to Big Bambino this season. There's Bo Bichette. He's supposed to do his usual usual start every like six days or something like that. And then still hit. There's Cody Hosey for the Dodgers. Ken McLeod got my Dodgers straight up. Nice first round pick. But yeah, Tim's right. The health is the big is the big issue. But I think I'm hoping that after a couple seasons in the majors, you know, I think he's he, there's like there's like an idea of there's an adjustment period, right? There's an idea. Nice Dustin May. There you go. That goes to Ken McLeod and the Dodgers. But there's a, you know, there's an adjustment period for for any overseas players coming over and trying to play in the rigors of a of a baseball season. So then I mean, there was there was no minors for him, right? There was no minor league time for him, anything like that. So. And there's Mitch Keller. See, there are your Pirates, Tim. Squeaky wheel. Gets the oil. Tim S. Pirates. I guess try it. If you're hitless right now and you're watching, you might as well try it. <laughs> it's working for everybody. You're welcome, Tim. Thanks for getting in. Appreciate that. All right, two boxes to go. No, I don't think we've seen a case hit yet, right? So maybe we're still we're still on the uh, keeping the eye out for that. Sean, so I'm well. I don't think that it works for you anymore, Sean. You've you've used up all of your luck today. Winning two boxes, getting autos left and right, getting randomized the the Brewers and getting your Keston Hira in a team random. You used up all of your sorcery for one night. Back to being a muggle for you. All right, it's penultimate box, ladies and gentlemen. Where'd all these bed companies come from, you guys? Curious. Yeah, Casper. Purple mattresses. I feel like there's like two other, there's two other 
mattress companies that are trying to sell you a million dollar mattress. Fleet number. All sorts of crazy things. as if everyone thought, you know what? High-end mattresses, that's what everyone wants. Grant Levine die cut. Probably, right? Yeah, the, I'll bet they're all manufactured in the same Chinese factory. There's Matt Walner, autograph for the twins. That goes to Ian. As Matthew Stubblefield saying bed bugs are the reason why there's so many mattress companies. So the bed bugs epidemic is leading people to need more new mattresses. And the mattress companies are like, we will fill that need. All right. All right, I can see that. There's Davey Garcia. For the Yankees, that'll be for John McCall. Got the Yankees straight up. Cody's got the Diamondbacks. Needs the case it to be Blaze. Blaze Alexander. Sorry, Nick Lodolo to 250 for the Reds. I looked up. Those matches are, ex are expensive. So the... Case it should look like that, but with an auto. Have we seen it? Have we not seen it? <laughs> Unless we got it early. Hmm. Haven't seen it. You Kikuchi, rookie auto? Yes. M's, Tyler. I'd like to see him have a little bit of a bounce back. I don't think he was like a highly touted player coming out of Japan but kind of struggled this year but maybe we'll, maybe he'll bounce back yeah Matthew's saying I barely remember bug, bug bed bugs bug beds <laughs> bed bugs being a thing but now a lot more people talking about it Andrew Vaughn nice autograph gold even 13 out of 50. That's for the White Sox. That's for Adam Wilson. Some nice color there. I don't know, Matthew Stubblefield. Maybe, maybe it's just a conspiracy by Big Mattress. Because Big Mattress wants you to buy more mattresses. So the Big Mattress says, Hey, we got some journalists on the payroll. Let's get them to write some stories about... Let's get them to write some stories about bed bugs, see? And then people buy more mattresses. Expensive mattresses. Anti bed bug mattresses. See? And then, like, a spinning newspaper thing comes at you. Boom. And it'll be like bed bugs, an epidemic. You got kids on the streets. Extra, extra. Read all about it. Bed bugs, an epidemic. Better go buy a million dollar purple mattress. We got guys on the payroll, right, Tom? Wouldn't they want a story like that? About a cop? A crooked cop? You guys remember where that's from? But he has more of a... you got something in his mouth because his jaw got broken. A cop? A crooked cop? And if Clemenza puts the gun where it needs to be, I'll come out there and I'll shoot them both. Yeah, <laughs> 
What are you gonna do? Huh? Nice college boy. This ain't the army where you can shoot him from a mile away. You gotta get up close and bada bing! You got blood all over your nice Ivy League suit, Michael. Yeah, Ian, you got it. <laughs> they just, you know, they just might. Thanks, man. Why I've I've watched Godfather way too many times. <laughs> well, there was one. This is this is like years ago when my sister and I were a lot younger, and we were kids maybe, and we were watching that, and we somehow thought that whole that whole sequence was really funny. <laughs> It's not funny. It's very serious, but he's talking about murdering a police officer. And um, there's Aaron Judge Gold. And so we would just do those impressions all the time. Young Al Pacino's voice was a lot higher. Higher pitched voice. There it is. That's the case. That's Riley Green. 50 out of 50 as well. Franchise favorites. That's for Josh Pruce and the Tigers. Riley Green and Casey Mize, supposed to be the future of Matthew Stubblefield's team. Josh, so nice hit for you. Their very last box. Michael, where's Michael? That's another funny one, too. John Duplantier. Whenever I, uh, you guys, you guys know when I win, wear those, uh, those like old school, like newsy kind of hat every once in a while. Um, whenever I, uh, whenever I wear that home, my mom always shakes her head and she goes, and if I haven't shaved for a while, she shakes her head and she goes, "You look like one of those Italian gangsters with the shotguns <laughs> in in, uh, in Godfather." Ooh. Ooh. Oh. I guess the magic is still there for Sean Corbett. USOB. Look at this. 22 out of 25 die cut atomic autograph. Vlad Guerrero Jr. And he got that randomized to him in a team random. Wow. That is wild. This is, think about how great this case has been. Like, we'll do the recap at the end. Just think about how great this case is. Especially when you see the recap. <laughs> that's, that's pretty nice. That was Brian Peoples' fire post. I agree. Wow. See, that's just good karma all around. Brian Peoples, Sean Corbett, good dudes. Supporting each other, even when they're not hitting. And then look at that, they hit. Pete Alonzo. We've got a good crew here, ladies and gentlemen. Luis Fig, Fig? Gill. I don't know why I was thinking figs. Nick was on Fig Talk yesterday. Yankees. That goes to John McCall with the Bronx Bombers. And there's Rowdy Rowdy Tellez right there. Wow. Look at this case. Watch. Watch this case. Watch it now. Watch it. Watch it now. Watch it. And they called Maddie about a thing she saw. All right. There's the junior, right? Duplantier's pretty solid. Riley Green, case hit. Andrew Vaughn, gold. Usai, Devi, Matt Walner, Mitch Keller, solid rookie card there. Dustin May for the Dodgers and the Cody Hosey. Some color for Nate Lowe. Hunter Green, green. Right? Bryson Stott, Kalanick, Tatis Jr. in this case. Right? Another Hunter Green. Michael Bush, Dodgers. Will Wilson, Jones, Thompson, Josh James, Keyboom, Atomic. Victor Mesa Jr. 
Corbin, Keston Hira, Rowdy Tellez, Nick Lodolo, and Michael Tobit. This is an excellent case, ladies and gentlemen. Pick your team five in the books. More in the store, jazbeescasebreaks.com, and we will do those tomorrow. Thanks, everyone. This is Joe, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.